This project is really an opportunity to, to leave the rivers in our area better than when we started. So it's a really exciting time. My name is Lizzie Pope and I'm a Senior Environmental Scientist at Snowy Hydro. We're at Narandara Fisheries Centre. Snowy Hydro have recently been involved in funding some new Macquarie Perch breedstock ponds. So the significance of these ponds is it will give us the capacity to be able to increase our production of Macquarie Perch. So one of the biggest limiting factors around breeding Macquarie Perch uh, on site here is that we didn't have enough space to hold broodstock, but also to grow out larvae or juvenile fish um, so we could stock them out. So we've built eight new ponds and um, that'll give us capacity to hold the number of fish that we need to hold. So the risk to the Macquarie Perch population in the Upper Murrumbidgee is the transfer of redfin via the Snowy 2.0 project. And Snowy has been really active in undertaking a raft of measures to try and minimise that risk. A really key measure is the Snowy 2.0 Threatened Fish Management Plan. And that's like a bit of an insurance program to make sure that we've got those populations in Macquarie Perch as resilient and robust as they can be ahead of the completion of the Snowy 2.0 project. So to make that population more robust, we need to do a number of things. Uh, one, we need to increase the number of fish, but we also need to to increase the genetic diversity because at the moment that population like all of our Macquarie perch populations has really low genetic diversity so essentially what that means is there's literally brothers and sisters and cousins all breeding with each other so we need to increase that genetic diversity and build those numbers but also build the spread of that population so you know increase the locations that they are not just within the main stem Murrumbidgee but within some of the tributaries as well so get our eggs into into more than one basket. Snowy Hydro takes its obligations for this threatened fish management plan and all of our management plans really seriously and we're really committed to minimising the impact of the project on the aquatic environment. It's been really exciting to be involved in a project that enables us to undertake these activities which we wouldn't be able to do otherwise and it's an incredible species that we're working on so you know it's been a great collaborative project Snow is really supportive of what we're doing and hoping to um, continue this collaboration well into the future. We've had a really instructive and collaborative relationship with New South Wales Fisheries. Really exciting because we're working together to achieve some incredible outcomes for fish and I'm really excited about the next few years. This is a unique Australian fish that every Australian should have the opportunity to see and potentially catch as well. You know, these things were as common as house mice years ago and were a, you know, a bread and butter fish that everyone could go down in those parts of the world and catch, you know. And generations have lost and missed that opportunity. And so this is about bringing back that opportunity, bringing back that connection and allowing, you know, future generations to have that connection to this amazing fish. Yeah, I mean, it's an incredible opportunity to work with like-minded people. We're all really passionate about fish conservation and what we can achieve together with this funding.